how to decide the insulin dose in hospitalized patient right that's the plan, right so i think this is the important point which you are highlighting okay now there could be two there could be uh, three situations right when the hospital patient comes right so we are, what we are talking about is basal bolus insulin let's say the patient is now transferred from icu to ward this could be one scenario so in icu the patient was on iv insulin and now ward you want to shift to basal bolus insulin let's say the patient was already on insulin patient was already taking insulin at home and directly admitted to the ward or let's say the patient was not on insulin and you want to start the patient on insulin so we'll see all the three scenarios of what to do let's first talk about patient is in was in icu and now he shifted to ward okay so in icu the patient is on iv insulin right and iv insulin is given in 50 units regular insulin plus 50 ml normal saline this is how the iv insulin in uh, regime is made and so that means that one there is 1 ml contains one unit of insulin so what you have to do you have to take last 6 hours okay you have to take the last 6 hours so let's say in the last 6 hours the patient was on 1 uh, ml per hour insulin infusion that means he is receiving 1 unit remember 1 ml equal to 1 unit so 1 unit of insulin per hour so in 6 hours he is receiving 6 units of insulin you transform this to 24 hours so in 24 hours the patient is receiving 24 units of insulin correct so the total dose of insulin which the patient has received is in 24 hours is 24 units now this 24 units is the total dose what you need to do you need to give 50% of this as basal and 50% of this as bolus okay so of that 24 units 50% is 12 units and 12 units right so 12 units will be basal dose 12 units will be bolus dose right so this becomes fixed right now let's talk about bolus so this total 12 units of bolus has to be divided into three means so 12 divided by 3 will be 4 units so 4 units before lunch 4 units sorry 4 units before breakfast 4 units before lunch and 4 units before dinner okay so this is how you calculate the dose so this patient who was on 1 unit per hour of insulin the prescription which i'll write for him is injection lantus 12 units at 10 pm injection epidra 4 units before breakfast 4 units before lunch 4 units before dinner right so this is how you calculate the insulin dose now let me go further right the second situation situation could be that patient was already on insulin so if the patient was already on insulin when he is before he is admitted or what you don't need to do anything you calculate the total insulin dose which the patient was taking very simple right let's say the patient was on uh, mixtard right let's say patient was on mixtard uh let's say uh, 10 units in the morning 10 units in the evening so he is receiving 20 units of mixtard right so this is receiving total of 20 units 
Now remember, this is fixed start 3070, for example. So if, if it's fixed start 3070, 70% is Bezel and 30% is Bolus, right? So let's say 20, uh, let's round it to 21. So 21 units, 70% of 21 units okay, is 14 units, right? And 30% is seven units. So this patient, what I'll do, right? The patient was on 20 units of mixed start, or let's say 21 units of mixed start, right? Just for calculation sake. So he will, I'll give them 14 units of Lantus at 10 p.m. Baki hai, seven units. Seven <coughs> units, you can divide, you can round it to six units. So you need two units, Epidra before breakfast, two units before lunch, and two units before dinner. Right? This is the starting dose. So this is remember this two units is bolus dose. Right? Now remember when you give basal bolus insulin, it is basal plus bolus plus correction. Okay. So let's say the patient is having a meal and the patient's blood sugar is 200 before meal. Now before meal our target is it should be less than 140, but it is 200. So two units we had already fixed Epidra. Plus I need to give extra insulin because the blood sugar is 200. So generally what we do is uh, there are different methods. You can go to endocrine societies uh, document where they're given the correction doses. But typically in this patient, I'll give two plus four. So I'll give six units of Epidra instead of two units because the pre-lunch sugar was high, right? So this is the extra four units is, extra four units is the correction insulin. Third system is patient was not on insulin and you want to start the patient on insulin, right? So here, what I typically do is, I use a formula fasting blood sugar minus 50 divided by 10. This is the starting dose of basal insulin. For example, let's say the patient's fasting sugar is 180, right? Let's say 200, right? So 200 minus 50 divided by 10 is this 150 divided by 10 equal to 15 units. So I'll start this patient on 15 units of Lantus. Right now, 15 units basal should be equal to 15 units of bolus. Right, remember it's 50 50. So the patient will receive 50 units, 15 bolus. So bolus again, 15 we divide, 15 we'll divide by 3, we'll get 5 units. So in this patient, I'll give injection Lantus 15 units at 10 pm, 5 epidra. 5, 5, 5, 5 units before breakfast, 5 units before lunch, 5 units before dinner, right? So this is how you calculate, right? So I hope this is clear.